So this is my response to build a bigger blowtorch. Essentially, I tried copying that, and what I ended up doing was drilling the uh, nipple a little too large. So instead of actually trying to seal that back up or re-drill, I had already blown through two of the drill bits until or before I found out that you can use cutting oil and actually drill properly. So instead, I purchased a needle bail, pressure regulator, a dryer to make sure I'm not blowing water in, a brass T, a new uh, half inch to three eighths coupler since the last one I had drilled through per the instructions, and uh, I ended up also having to cut about an inch or so off of this. I can get an exact measurement um, if necessary. But essentially, I was looking around saying, well, I'm already pouring so much more fuel into this thing. What can I do to get enough oxygen? Because the problem is, if you turn this on as it is right now, you end up with a very poor flame. So my thought was, well, I could force oxygen in there, but the tank of oxygen is really expensive. I looked online and saw that you can actually purchase air mix type situate, uh, type uh, valves, so propane air, uh, MAP air, I didn't see oxy, but, or uh, acetylene, but uh, it's probably out there. So essentially what I do is I regulate this down to about 20 or so PSI, maybe a little lower, which is my gross adjustment, and then I use the needle valve to actually do fine adjustment. So you can see I actually get a perfect little flame coming out of there with a nice neutral in the center. And what's nice about this, it really doesn't use that much air. The compressor doesn't run after many, many minutes, and I can adjust it any way I want. You can see it's actually getting a little rich. I can adjust more fuel in, which then I can add more oxygen. So that was my, that's my response. So that's my response to uh, trying to make, build a bigger blowtorch.